Hello and welcome to Innkeeper. This is a cool new game. I sort of just well, I don't know how new it is, but it's it's a cool game that I just found. Um, it's sort of like um, a hotel tycoon kind of a game. And oh my god, I love those kind of games. You sort of build up from scratch and all that crap. So let's get started. New game. And obviously, um, uh, that's my name, Biceps. Um, this is just a short like intro story. So there's a nice island in the Philippines. Um, but apparently there's monsters on there, but there might be a myth. But balls to it, we're going to build a hotel anyway. So they build a nice hotel. And essentially we have a family of people. Um, who are all, that's like a family owned hotel. We've got to build up from the ground. Gradually recruit more people, get more customers. And yeah, we've got this. We've got to build up this shithole. And at the start it really is just a shithole. Um, we've got this crappy room, like house, hotel thing with only one floor. No rooms or anything like that. So... We're going to do what she says and build some shitty suites, uh, the worst possible things you can get. Um, and we're going to, oh, we have to, yes, George, we have to click start day. And yeah, we get a new customer. And as you, there's quite a lot of different customer types. And as you get further and further into the game, you get more and more customers. Uh, you can see we've got a shitty no star rating, no XP. Um, so yeah, what's happening here is people will go into um, the reception and uh, they'll like sleep in their room, pay you money, um, reading their comments later on is really helpful to like helping your get customer rate higher, um, so like, that one wasn't particularly useful, but sometimes I'll say like, I don't like the radio station, can you change, the there's a lot of m micromanagement in this, which is, generally I'm terrible at, but you know, it's not bad, so this is your customers, we'll, we'll look at this stuff like this, there's quite a lot in this game, so yeah, we need to, we need to hire a cleaner, so we're hiring Fatty McFat here, um, Andrews, Andre, Andre, Andres. I don't know how to say that. I mean, what, what, how do you say Liwayway? What kind of stupid Hilaria? Um, so yeah, she looks fucking depressed. He looks like he's eating something horrible, and she's like fairly happy because she owns the business. I think she's your mother. Um, this is my younger brother, and he's he's doing the cleaning. He's doing the cleaning. Oh god, if Roy would do the cleaning, fucking hell. He is the laziest shit in the earth. Um, right. So yeah. Um, we need a server. Uh, all right, yes. Yeah, so, the service room and the cleaning room. So, servers deliver food and shit, obviously, or like room service. The cleaners clean the crap up after them. So, we've got depressed Miss, like sad face over here. She's gonna do the cleaning, and um, let's start the day. Um, again, I'll probably should build some more rooms, but we've got we've got tons of cash. We can do that in a minute. If I can build one now, let's take a room down. Uh, this time, oh, I'm probably gonna have to destroy one of these. Actually, thinking about it, oh, does, does, you'll see one in a minute. Um, so everyone sees this place is terrible and they want to see for themselves. So here's ordered room service, the little plate thing there, and she's got to go to them. Um, also, as your start, the more your staff work, the more they level up. Um, you you get amenities which also level up. God, everything levels up. Um, there's a lot of leveling involved. Like you'll see later though. And they've given me a one and a half star rating, I think, or one. It might be half. I can't see. Um, but you get a report at the end of each day seeing how people have rated, how many of each customer type has come. And the problem is each customer um, requires like a different sort of... Uh, they have different needs. Um, you'll see later on as well. Which is So it's, it's pretty... So currently we've got the natives. They'll give me one star, so it's not bad. Um, so we need to improve the rooms. Oh, oh God's sake. So yeah, we want to give them an ironing board because... Um, oh, God, yeah. Because apparently the natives like ironing boards, so that's one of their needs. Apparently, um, so it should like help get our customer rating up. Oh, we have to click this. Okay, yep, yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, on the way to a five star rating. So now we've got a quest. Our first sort of questy thing. Uh, we need to get a one star rating from eight customers, and then we enable us to build the next floor up, which is good. It's good. So um, I'm also going to give them a sofa, and oh, what else did it? Ah. Oh, um, I think they like microwaves as well because I've done this before, so it's kind of cheating a little bit. But I know what they like, so it should help me get my ratings boosted quicker. And currently, the only customer we have is native, so I can change all this later on. Um, these rooms are shit and can only have free amenities or sort of furnishings. Later on, you can get rooms with, like can have all of these. Um, and I've only unlocked four different customer types so far, and there's a shit ton. This is the information. So look, look at all these different customers you can get, and I got up to like here. Um, so I haven't really got that far. And each one has details on what they like. Later on, you can like assign different floors for different people and all that kind of crap. And God, it gets complicated. Um, these are the family members who can do jobs and shit. 
and this is just the finances overall I think is it probably yeah so there we go um they left a fucking mess I haven't bothered cleaning it up god damn it uh right screw that um let's 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 just start the next day uh, we can speed it up it's going a bit slow but later I find it's better to slow it down because you really do need to like sort of micromanage um, found something else about customers so what was it let's have a look um oh there we go oh they like refrigerators this time that's changed so yeah they like um so they're a lower class people it's telling me they're like a buffet breakfast and a chapel well i have neither of those things so yeah we need we need eight good ratings so that was we didn't we didn't get that many customers today we only got three uh, over one star ratings we want to build a second floor really Oh yeah, this is um the advertising section. So let's this is this is where it gets even more complicated. So yeah, blah 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 blah. All right, yeah, we get um yeah if we we got to build an amenity to get rule. So uh, I knew we had to demolish this room. Um, right, build. Uh, buffet breakfast is good because that's what they like. So I'm gonna stick a buffet breakfast hole there. And yeah, that room will be destroyed. And now we've got a new family member. He's decided to help us out. So um, can we use him yet? Uh, advertising yes we can so I'm just gonna skip out the tutorial even though so um, essentially currently he's the marketing scheme of things is getting us 0 to 5 customers a day now shit that, is, that sucks alright we're, we're gonna go and get some online ads and get 3 to 13 extra customers a day so our money is gonna come flying in we're not even gonna be doing this yet um, oh I can get another oh nice I didn't reverse that so this is you get um like points these, oh god, this is complicated. Right, I'll come back to that. Um, so next day, we just want to, we want to get eight customers. Oh, we, we've got our first new customer, a redneck. Um, these guys will like different things. So, oh right, the, the higher approval rating means um, more, you'll get a different variety of customers. So yeah, it's saying yeah, higher approval means more customers, which is good stuff. Oh, I've got a two-star rating. God, that's good. Um, we only need, we only need uh, two more people to give us a one-star rating. Um, there's not enough rooms really to hire everyone. There we go. So we can build a second floor, which we'll do in a minute. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, and we'll, the amenities can level up and stuff too. And I get an XP. Uh, I think per customer. I'm not sure. Let's just let's highlight over that. Um, different customer types reward different amounts of XP. Okay, so I'm guessing the higher level customers, the hard ones to please, will give you more XP, stuff like that. So right, yeah. Yeah, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, this is yeah. Now later on, you get competition from another hotel as well, which is kind of a problem. Um, this is just what this is saying. So we need to get our second half star. So we need to upgrade amenities four times, and then we'll get be able to build three floors, which is good stuff. Um, that's not too difficult to do either. So I've already built an amenity. I've already done, oh marketing. Yeah, I've already I've already done this. Um, so yeah, it's really set up. So basically, I'll go I'll go into this now. Um, these. This means 70% um, of our customers currently are natives and 30% are rednecks. And um, if we want to increase the amount of rednecks coming to our thing, um, we can filter it so that we can have, I've got to defilter that, and then I can filter it so that we can have a more percentage of rednecks. Um, because they pay more, I think, or they may give you more XP or something. Um, and obviously the higher level uh, like sort of people you have, um, the more money you'll get, the better ratings you'll get, the more stars you'll get. So on and so forth. So I think we did so well today because we had that. But we really need to build another like floor so we can get more people in. Um, and the, all these rooms you can unlock. All of these amenities. There's like a chapel and fucking god, those are loads of crap. Um, so a new floor. And I want to get a couple of rooms, but also we want to get a laundrette and a, oh, I can't afford a gym, but that's no problem. We'll get some. We'll get a room. Uh, so we can get a gym's too wide, so we can get two rooms up here. Uh, no, we can't. But right, and these. Ah, so you go. Here we go. Um, I think every time a person uses this, um, you get a level up. Now, sometimes this is where reading people's comments comes into play. Um, when they're walking in and out of stuff, they might say, "Oh, the American meal was terrible. I didn't enjoy it." So you can change it to a different type of meal, for example. So I could go to a continental meal, and then um, it improve people's happiness improve like yeah 
it, but basically that's how it works. It's the same with this, so you can change, they may say, oh, the news channel's boring, the news channel's really good, but this time it was terrible, so you can change it to a drama channel or something. And so, so, yeah, stuff like that. So um, we'll do a couple more days, and then we'll call it episode one, but as you can see, it's, there's, a, there's a lot to it, and you can do a lot. So we've already upgraded from a crappy one-floor fucking piece of shit to a, a two-floor piece of shit. Um, but you know, we're, get, we're getting there, and upgrades as well, we haven't even got into the upgrade tree yet for myself, which is XP. So we're going up and down the lift. There we go. See, look, oh god, I need to slide down. See, news is really alright, but that was really awful, I think. Um, say, no radio, they're a bit pissed off there's no radio. Um, so, oh god, there's nothing in these rooms, is there, right? Let's buy, let's buy a radio, I haven't bought one of these yet. Um, let's buy a sofa, and let's buy a fridge, because why the fuck not? And in this room, we'll get like a TV and a sofa and a fridge. Like some expensive shit up in here. And there we go. These are, these are good crappy sweets anyway. They can only have a few amenities. A few, sorry. Um, these are amenities. They can only have a few bits and bobs. Uh, is he going to clean that up? Clean that shit up, mate. God, he's slow, isn't he? He didn't even do it. He didn't even pick that crap off the ground. Look at lazy shit. Rory, get back. I'm, he's Rory now. Fucking cleaning the dirt off the ground. God, it's always me who's doing it, cleaning everything up, cooking his dinner. Um, let's see what we got. That's what we got today. Oh, look, we got quite a lot of customers today. That's good. That's that is really good for like the start of the game. It's because I know what I'm doing, I guess. Um, oh god, achievements. I'm not even click that. It's probably take me a different page. Um, so attraction red. I think it's now. Yeah, I already know how filtering points work, mate. Sorry, uh, done it already. Yeah, blah 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 blah. I've already done it. I've already done it. There we go. So there's a 34 percent of our customers now rednecks, and obviously the more of points you can have the more it goes up but we need to have this guy level up more and it means he can the more they level up so right let's let's go to the family and I'll explain um family so these are their stat points okay so this is like their charisma um this is their speed so this is how fast they'll walk around get their jobs done blah 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 um industry so how quickly people react and um stuff they can do it's basically and then how much you have to pay them um Oh god, we've got yeah, we've already, he's already the market though, so yeah. And this is how long they'll level up to, and the more they level up, the, the more, the quicker they'll do their jobs, blah blah blah. But their wage also goes up with when they level up, so it goes hand in hand really. Um, customers, so we've got all this data on the customers, and you gradually build up, build up like what you need. So this is what they prefer. So I've got a breakfast buffet and a laundry, and as these are the, my main customers, that's a pretty good thing. Um, I've got ironing boards, refrigerators and microwaves and sofas in most of the rooms, so that's not too bad. I have no information on Regnecks at all yet, um, but I know they like TVs, refrigerators and I think that's all I've got before, so yeah, um, there's, pretty, there's, a lot, there's a lot to it, there really is. Oh, and I could, I've got enough XP to buy an upgrade now, so the first upgrade I'm going to buy is... oh. Well, I seem to have been massive problem with mess because Rory won't clean up. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get the upgrade. And see, so it takes quite a lot of XP to like get all this. Oh, unlocks a third cleaner shot, unlocks a chapel amenity. Ah, oh, see, so you get all this crap. But I didn't even look at half of these. So this this will be useful for later on as well. But um, ooh, not bad. For now, this has been part one and. Uh, yeah, I hope hopefully you enjoy it. I, th I think you can get ridiculous amounts of flaws and stuff on this, and we're only at half a star, so hopefully we can get up to a five-star hotel. That'd be sweet. That'd be really nice. Oh god, I, I just love making hotels and shit and all that kind of crap. Um, so yeah, this is this has been part one, and please come back for part two and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I, I, I play loads of random shit, and this is one of the random shits I play. And we're gonna make a masterpiece of a hotel and take on the world with Biceps Hotel Chain and Retailers, Inc. Corp. Inc. Goodbye.